Thursday. Uh, well, it's planned to be a stunt vlog is quickly turning into a motor vlog because of inclement weather and the lack of empty parking lots to ride in. Uh, it's a Thursday morning, so it's a weekday, so businesses are going to be open, schools are open. Uh, I mean, it's good riding weather. It feels pretty pretty good outside. It's like 60, so I'm just wearing a long sleeve shirt, but kind of getting bummed out right now because. Not only is everything closed, or open I mean rather, my <laughs> availability's closed, um, the roads are still really wet, like dragging a foot on it, I mean it's just, I feel like I'd break loose my tire really easily. So, which is really disheartening because today I kind of wanted to try to get into the seat standards, uh, but it rained a little last night and then it's super foggy, so the dew point humidity and stuff, humidity, humidity is uh, kind of going to ruin that for me today, I feel like, so, anyways, now I'm sort of just trying to find a place to go, slash, I don't know, make a video and burn a little time, and I know a place that may or may not be occupied this morning, and we're just going to go out there and bust a few, and uh, go for it, there is a lot there, but it's next to, our, you know, the main road in town, so, you know, going out there is kind of like asking to like, draw attention to yourself, you know, especially this time of the morning. It's, it's only like 6.30 or 7 o'clock, so. Ah, shit. Well, we gotta go. We made it! Hey, I really didn't think I was gonna make it across the line in time. So, real quick, I came and just turned around at the, uh, at the lot we used to ride in, because I passed up the one that I was shooting for, and, uh, the concrete's really wet, so not saying that it can't be done i'm just gonna have to be a little bit smoother on the throttle and stuff and not uh you know not jolt it or cause the rear tire to break loose so i'm gonna have to be be easy on the throttle on the clutch all right update the place i told you guys i was going had people there so um <clears throat> a little google map search i turned up a place that looks abandoned like an old building that's not being used anymore with a decent size parking lot in the middle. It does have the little parking stop things, so it's not just one wide open parking lot. Um, so I'm taking a chili rod out of town to go see, um, and if it flops, it flops, but uh, if it doesn't, hey Rodney, what's up, bro? Uh, about that bike life, son. Uh, Anyways, if it turns out to be a flop, it's going to kind of circle because it was cold on the way over here. But, uh, it could turn out to be good, and if so, it's really time. So at this point in the journey, I'm really needing that parking lot to be available because uh, it's chillier than I thought it would be. So I'm doing like 45 and like a 60 or something like that. Because it's cold. 60 doesn't feel bad when you're just standing there, but uh, 60 degrees is a little chilly with the windshield and stuff. So... I'm not complaining, but the fact that I'm going, you know, five or ten miles out of town, you know, it kind of matters. So, <laughs> I was like, do I go home and get a jacket, or do I just, you know, just go scope it out? Let's just go find out what's going on. So, I could have went, you know, ten minutes out of my way and got my jacket, but, uh, bike life. So, here we are. place that was uh, pretty far out of town that I told you guys about. Uh, it's occupied. Um, so it's back to Google Maps, I guess, while I'm over here. Industrial areas, I'm not saying, are always going to be a surefire place, but uh, it's a good place to start. Uh, I'd like to think so. So anyways, I'm just kind of sitting here for a second collecting my thoughts and 
I don't want to go farther away from town or from home uh, because the farther I get away, you know, the farther the ride is back and all that. And it is going to warm up, but that's not really the point right here. So, anyways, see what we can find. I regret this, but this road is really slick and there's cars coming back and forth. So, and something's on fire over there. If it feels good, I'll try a seat stander. Um, because, I mean, I hate to waste a day and I hate to waste pulling the bike out essentially um, you know I really really you know aim to to try to not really learn something new every time but progress in some sort of way and even if all I end up doing today is feeling more comfortable standing on the seat of my bike and you know seeing what it feels like to be that high up I mean fair enough you know if that's all that I get out of it <laughs> ah. Oh, look at here. You know, for a road that uh, has a dead end, well, there's a lot of traffic this time of the morning. I guess we're at that weird time where like people are going to work in school, but they haven't quite left yet. All right, bringing their kids to school or something like that. I don't know. Still don't know how I felt about the seat stander. And right now, I think the thing that sketches me a little bit the most is the fact that I'm trying to cover the brake and the clutch and uh it's tough and right now my only thing is covering this damn clutch and the handbrake at the same time because if you're not used to it it's gonna fuck you up for sure like i feel way more comfortable and this sounds stupid but i feel more comfortable dumping the clutch and then grabbing the handbrake with this hand well guess what clutch is completely uncovered so that's no good oh, oh shit coming out here and testing stuff like that um, definitely gives you sort of some insight on what what can I do better and for me the, that question comes in as far as the bike itself uh, you know my handbrake and my clutch are as close together as I can get them handles wise so I may need a longer lever on this uh, this Magura too I'm not sure so either way I'm adjusting some stuff I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna move both of them down because right now you'll notice that I, my clutch full you know I have to uh, Honestly, I, I almost think I need to pull some clip-on out. I need a little bit more clip-on. So, because right now, I'm at the edge of the grip, and I can't pull the clutch all the way in without kind of, I don't know, angling my hand. So, tell you what, it's going to be adjustment time when we get home. You know, in hindsight, I'm going to go back and review all this footage and... Um, no matter what though guys, here's a good thing to, I don't know, put in your mind. Um, no day that you ride is a waste. Because today, I really didn't get much accomplished at all. I mean, I went out, I did a few wheelies, dropped my bike twice, and, you know, rode around. What is up bike life, man? How's it going? Don't worry about me, that's cool. Um, anyways, so... I wasted some time, I wasted a little bit of gas, whatever, but I, I learned some things, and that's, I guess that's what you should take from this, is that no matter what, you know, every day that you ride, though, you know, whether it's something really small, you know, like, like what I did today, went and made some laps around, um, if you're a star rider anyways, or even if you're just a new rider getting better at riding, every ride is, is valuable in some way. You know, so like today, I learned a couple of things. Um, not so much about wheelies. I mean, I did a couple of, you know, attempted seat standards, but I learned by attempting that that this is where I'm having a problem at right here. You know, my clutch and handbrake setup, um, you know, is, is not where I want it to be. So all I have to do is, is go and fix that. I'll, you know, 
I'll look and you know see well where can I make this adjustment so in this case I feel like I need a little bit more clip on that's something I have to do is bleed all my brakes because my hand brakes got like that much play in it before it engages so I want it to be nice and stiff after you know just a few millimeters of pull so um, anyways you guys if you like what you saw subscribe if you didn't and uh, I don't know, you can complain about it or something. Let me know why you didn't like it. And I'll try to fix it. If it's a valid reason. If it's not, then I'm I'm not going to fix it. But anyways, till next time, can't wheelie, bro.